Alright, so the first thing I did was I just evened out my skin tone and made it flawless using concealer and pressed powder. And you want to make sure you have a matte finish. So that's all I use. Now the only other product I'm going to use on my face, and I'm going to use it right now, is my bronzer. And I wanted an orangier tone bronzer, which is why I'm using my Love and Beauty by Forever 21, which is slightly orange tone, but more gold, but slightly orange. It's very sparkly, so you do have to be careful with this, but... What I want to do with it is create high cheekbones because they all have high cheekbones and add a little bit of a bronzy California glow to my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with my angled um, Air Essentials brush. Draw line, just go wherever the sun will naturally hit. And also be careful to avoid any areas where you are and for care because with this bronzer since it's sparkly you do have to make sure you are only doing the areas where you feel confident in the way your skin looks so I just do that everywhere but in that area and then on my chin so it just gives me a great bronzy glow which they all have this orangey bronzy glow even the pale ones like Brenda alright and so then I'm going to just real quick they all have nice and natural looking but filled in eyebrows so I'm going to go ahead and just brush mine with the this brow color. I'm going to tell you about the eye products. I'm going to be using the same eye products in all the tutorials. It's just a matter of how I use them that differs from girl to girl. It's like skin tone. Oh, there you can kind of see it there. Um, it's just like Actually, I've used this as a bronzer before. It's just a matte, completely matte, tan color. So I'm going to want this all over my lids. And I'm going to use it this exact same way for all four tutorials. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you it once. And you can just fill in the blanks for the rest. And that's that. Um, There's a dark grayish brown. I'm going to use this, you know as liner or crease or whatever it's just it's sparkly but it's pretty it's just a grayish brown and then the last eyeshadow color is just a highlight color it's just a white with sparkles and um yeah so that's called naked by Ulta and the other one was molten by Ulta okay most of the four girls three out of four um and that's blackberry by Revlon Colorstay just a really really deep brown it's almost black um it's just, you know, use whatever your favorite mascara is mine. I feel like I love the effect of this. It's Maybelline Great Lash and Soft Black. And now I'm going to go ahead and get into the individual girls. Alright, so my first look is inspired by Kelly Taylor, played by Jenny Garth, and I love it. I love her makeup. It's just, it's really natural looking, but really, really thin with molten, and she doesn't seem to have a defined crease. In fact, I don't think she really has any different, I think, the skin all there, all the same color from lash up, but what I am going to do with this is kind of create a liner effect um, with it, because I'm not really going to apply real eyeliner with for Kelly. Alright, so... Just taking that on the tip of my Lancome brush, getting that all along there, just like that, and it just creates a liner effect. Okay, so that is that, and now I'm going to take the same color and line the bottom lashes, and I'm actually going to use the same brush because I want it to have more, a softer look than what the real angled brush would give. thing with Kelly is I don't think she has any highlighting going on really like that is literally it for eyeshadow um very very simple the strongest thing on her is mascara she wears more on mascara than the rest of the girls I think she wears quite a bit of mascara actually so um for her that's going to be the real focal point of her look um so I'm going to show you for her mascara for the others I might or might not show you I'm not sure so
doesn't look as good on me as she does on her, but you know, it's just very natural, very soft. That's why I didn't do any kind of eyeliner, just the, um, I can't think of the word, eyeshadow. Alright, and then her look, continuing to be simple, only has one lip product, and that is my favorite lipstick of all time that I have yet to use in a tutorial, surprisingly. B52 by NYX. It's a round, one of the round lipsticks, which is their cheapest ones, and it's just a pretty off red, almost. It's kind of a nude red. And Kelly, sometimes her lips are really dark, sometimes they're this kind of color, sometimes they're even like a brighter red. Like all the girls, she kind of goes around, all the girls, I feel like they go around a range of like nudes to reds, but it just depends on the, the episode, on what, how dark or bright their lips are. But this is the look I feel like Kelly wears the most, which is just a muted dark red. And... Stay tuned for the other three girls. Alright, so today I'm doing my tutorial for Brenda, played by Shannon Darty. And for Brenda, her look is actually extremely, extremely natural from eyes to lips. The only thing that she does that isn't that natural, she has a little bit of a weight on her eyeliner. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do, I already did a camel, so I'm just going to take naked, actually like all over, just to brighten that even more. She has very bright eyeshadow, like it's naturally bright, you know? Leave a little bit of that camel showing in the crease so it's got more definition there. I'm also going to take that as my highlight and a little bit on the inner corner as well. Alright, so I'm just going to take a tiniest bit of that molten and take that under my lash line. Um, now I'm going to do liner and I'm just doing it on the top lash line in a way that with this. Uh, so not as thick as Donna's line is going to be, but just like a semi-thick line with a wing. Let me do the first side. So, now I'm just going to work on the wing. Just taking it like, not a whole lot, it's nothing insane or anything. Just a little bit of a kick. Now I'm just going to take my smudge brush and smudge that line out. And I'm actually going to go ahead and do the other eye. And then I'm going to apply mascara on both the top and bottom, but lightly, not a whole lot of mascara for Brenda. She's pretty natural. And then I'll come back to do the lips. Alright, so for Brenda's lip, I'm going to be taking Ulta's Lip Liner in Spice, which is just this brownish color, because she has a very nude lip, but then sometimes it's red, so I'm going to kind of be mixing those two aspects. So I'm just going to line this and, and fill it in, you know, nothing too insane, just like basic lip lining and filling in, so... Alright, so that lip liner just gives me this nudie brown color that Brenda wears like all the time. But her lips are a little redder than this usually. Not always. Sometimes they're pinker. But anyway, so I'm going to be taking my Ulta lip gloss and Ruby. I don't want to use a lot because it's not like a super glossy finish. I just want to add some red. So there's the finished Brenda look. 